Here's a GRE algebra problem. Let's take a look. Which of the following is equal to a to the power of 5 over 6? And we have all these answer options right here. Now, before I get going on this, I just want to nip something in the bud because I know that I'm going to get a lot of comments being like, oh, why don't you just use your calculator? Your GRE calculator cannot do this. Your GRE calculator doesn't have fractional exponents. So we have to understand what fractional exponents are and how they work to solve this problem. Let's take a look. So a quick review, right, of fractional exponents. a to the power of 1 half is the same thing as the square root of a. a to the power of 1 third is the cube root of a, and so on and so forth. So what I can do here is run through these answer options, convert them to fractional exponents, and see which ones give me a to the power of 5, 6. Let's start with the first one. Answer option A. Well, the square root of A, as I said, I'll just write it over here, is A to the power of 1 half times A to the power of 1 third. What's the rule for multiplying exponential terms? I add the exponents, right? This is very, very important to know. So I need to add these exponents together. And in order to do that, they need to have a common denominator, right? So I'm going to rewrite this as A to the power of 3 over 6 times A to the power of 2 over 6. And then I'm going to add them together. And wouldn't you know it, when I add 3, 6 to 2, 6, what do I get? I get a to the power of 5, 6, which is the correct answer. Correct answer here is A. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.